Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Naturally Caffeinated here. Today we're going to be talking about why I'm losing coolant from the 300R race edition. So I have my suspicions, but I'm not exactly sure what's going on. So here's the situation. I'm up in the mountains doing my rides. I get back home and I do a once over on the bike and I always check my coolant just to see where I'm at. And lately it's been disappearing and I don't know why. So I don't have any visual leaks from either radiator or any of the radiator hoses. I have noticed though that the uh, skid plate is usually wet with coolant. So my suspicion is this. I think I'm getting blow by um, between the cylinder and the head is, are a couple of O-rings there. And I think that the uh, combustion gases are going up and over the O-rings into the cooling jackets, forcing coolant and pressure to build up into the radiators and then pissing out of the expansion hose. And which leads down the frame to the skid plate. So that's my suspicion. So I went to my local dealership, Cutler's Beta dealership uh, here locally in Orem, Utah, and I picked up a couple of O-rings. So we're gonna pull the head off of the bike and inspect that and see what's going on there. And while we're in there, we'll take a look at the cylinder wall and the piston itself, see what's going on there. The bike has over 150 hours, so it's getting time to uh, start inspecting that. My guess is uh, eventually I'm going to have to do a top end kit uh, rebuild and I will record that and show you guys how to do that. But for now, we're just going to pull the head off, inspect the O-rings, get those replaced regardless, um, take the bike out, ride it around and see if there's any more coolant loss. And we're going to cross our fingers on that. One thing I did want to shout out is Kent at Cutler's uh, Beta dealership in Orem. He hooked me up with this new banner that I have uh, beta racing banner. It is sick. It looks great in the YouTube studio. So again, thank you Kent for Hooking me up with this banner. The garage is looking great. Really appreciate the support there. So All right, so we got to get the bike cleaned up and then we'll get the bike torn down and then we'll inspect everything get the parts replaced on it So let's get started <music> Okay, so at this point, I've taken the gas tank off. I've pulled the head stays off. I've pulled the spark plug out and I drained all the coolant. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pull the head off. And the reason you drain the coolant is there are uh, cooling sleeves around the head. So once you pull the head off, coolant will come gushing out. It's obviously not what we want, but uh, Okay, so one more thing. You can leave the header pipe on to take the head off to replace the O-rings, but in this case, I'm gonna take the header pipe off because the bike came with the silicone uh, radiator hose kit and there was one piece that was left off and it sits right behind this header pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the header pipe off and then get this replaced while I'm doing um, the head O-rings.
Okay, so good and bad thing about these um, Samco Sport silicone hoses. They're hard to get on, but man, I think I'm gonna get a really good seal. Okay, it's gonna be a 12 millimeter socket, and we're gonna start pulling off all the head bolts, and we're gonna try to loosen it in a cross pattern so that um, the aluminum head doesn't warp. All right, at this point, I think I got them all loose. I'm a little bit nervous to pull the head off to see what's going on under there because I'm not sure exactly if the coolant or the exhaust is going over the O-ring and pushing the exhaust gases through the cooling jackets and forcing the coolant out of the radiator. So we'll see. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo these bolts here, and then I'm going to pull the head off, leaving the bolts in the same uh, holes so that I know that they go right back there. I don't wanna change any, anything with the threads or anything, so. Okay. And the other thing to note too is if you don't buy new copper washers, um, this is this is the first time this head has come off, so these copper washers are probably good. What you can do is flip them over and reuse them. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do, so. Boy, that's on there. There we go. All right. Take a quick look at the carbon buildup at all. All right, let's see. Eh, not bad. I mean, probably normal wear and tear for over 150 hours. So let me get the camera repositioned and we'll look inside the cylinder. Okay, here's inside the cylinder. Cylinder walls look pretty good. I don't see any visual scarring or feel anything. They feel really nice and smooth. Um, I am seeing coolant right around the O-ring. It's really wet, just right here on the cylinder wall, or on the top of the cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that these gaskets, I mean, this gasket feels pretty flat. There's a little bit of a bump there. It's raised up a little bit. Probably, it's probably within spec, I'm not sure, but um, I wanted to swap out the O-rings to see if it made a difference as to why I'm losing coolant because it is pissing out coolant. I don't see where it's coming from. I do see it coming from the radiator um, hoses down at the bottom of the engine, but um, I don't know if, it, if it's the exhaust gases that are forcing those out or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these and then uh, see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and use a dental pick um, to try to get these out so they don't scratch anything. I want to be as gentle as possible. So. All right, one down, one to go. Okay, I'll give it a gentle wipe down and just kind of look through things. And it looks like from the factory, they put um, grease inside each of the um, threads to keep these bolts from sticking uh, when, you're, when you're doing a top end or you're pulling the head off, so. No visual lips or anything. It's looking pretty good. So, all right. I'll go ahead and get those new O-rings. Okay, when placing the O-rings, um, 
The factory manual, the beta repair manual, doesn't state that you need to oil or grease or lube these um, o-rings at all, so I'm not going to. The inner one is in. Okay, the outer one is on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the head a little bit. Just, I'm just gonna wipe it down and then I'll get that back over and we'll start putting this thing back together. All right. I got the head cleaned up. I just wiped it down. I mean, nothing too severe. I didn't want to scratch any surfaces or use sandpaper or anything crazy like that. So I just wiped it down. It's, it's cleaned up. I wiped down the surface of the cylinder. So I went ahead and flipped all my um, copper washers. Now I'm just going to assemble it. I am going to be careful though to uh, set this down so that I do not move the o-rings because we want those to stay in place so i'll just get these started by hand and then um, i'll come back through and i'll do the tightening down in two phases in a cross hatch pattern and then uh, hopefully this will take care of my issue and i guess if nothing else i have new o-rings on my head i've got this new hose put back on or put on it was never installed initially, um, so not necessarily a tough job. Um, gave me an option to look inside my cylinder to see what's going on there. I do need to do a top end rebuild. I have over 150 hours on it and um, I need to save up for that piston kit. It's about three, four hundred dollars. So uh, if anyone wants to donate to the channel, I'll set up a Pay, PayPal me account and if anyone's willing to help out great if not no big deal um, I'll get to it once I save up the cash and get the uh, beta piston and ring kit so okay these are all hand tight now let's just double check nothing's moved all right I'll get my torque wrench Okay, so I did decide one thing I want to do just to be safe is I'm going to go ahead and pull each screw out and I'm going to re-grease it with this uh, waterproof grease. So just do a little dab in there, nothing extreme. But it makes sense to go ahead and do what the factory did. And um, even the service manual states you should uh, re-grease those head bolts. So I'm just going to go ahead and go one by one and Get them all re-greased. Okay, you have to tighten these bolts in two phases in a crisscross pattern. The first one is 15 newton meters, and then the second pass is 27 newton meters. Okay, the second pass is 27 newton meters. All righty, there we go. That's going to wrap up uh, the work we've done on the beta. We've got the head pulled off, the O-rings replaced, the cylinder and piston inspected. I will end up doing a top end rebuild here shortly. Uh, we've got everything back together. Now I need to take the bike up into the mountain, run it around for a good four hours, and then check the coolant levels. And we'll cross our fingers that the coolant levels are holding and that the bike is then repaired. I also want to thank Matt, one of the subscribers to the channel. 
uh, we are going to get together and go for a ride. So thanks for reaching out, Matt. Really appreciate the support as well. So anyways, that's going to wrap it up. You guys take care and we'll see you all on the trail.